Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is September 9th, Monday, 2019. It's 1.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States. And this is my coping with schizophrenia vlog entry for today. Um, like I said in my last video, I think I said, I went to the psychiatric emergency room this weekend, um, which was on Saturday. And they told me I needed to learn how to help myself more and not rely on the hospital emergency room when I'm having difficult psychiatric symptoms. And there's some truth to that. I already mentioned that in my last video. I am trying my best to get outdoors and be with other people as much as possible because being isolated is probably what makes me go to the psychiatric emergency room. Um, my ex-therapist offered a crisis appointment, but those don't prevent me from going to the hospital. I already know what will prevent me from going to the hospital. And it's not a crisis appointment with a therapist. I have an appointment with my psychiatrist coming up this Thursday and today is Monday. So that would be the 12th of uh, September that I have that appointment. So when a therapist called me today, she offered a crisis appointment and I turned it down because I plan to stay out of the hospital between now and the time that I meet with my psychiatrist on Thursday. Um, so my experience with crisis appointments, which is an appointment with a therapist to try to prevent you from going back into the hospital emergency room or to deal with things after going to the hospital emergency psychiatric room, um, those crisis appointments don't change anything. They don't address the underlying problem. And the under underlying problem is that I have to help myself more and the crisis appointments are a joke. So I don't. I have no intention of keeping those. Um, and I will be seeing my psychiatrist on Thursday um, to discuss my meds mostly more than anything else. Um, I'm riding my bike outside more, going for very, very long walks early in the morning just to get out of the house, um, riding my bike around, exercising, trying to be around other people as much as possible. And I think if I continue to follow this course, I'll be able to stay away from the hospital emergency room and see my psychiatrist on Thursday and stay out of the psychiatric emergency room after Thursday indefinitely because I already know what I have to do to help myself and I already know what causes me to go to the hospital. Um, I'm not violent, I'm not suicidal and I'm doing generally okay today. I don't feel particularly too nervous or paranoid or hallucinating or anything like that. Um, if anybody has any suggestions, comments, Put them in the comment section. Uh, subscribe, like, share. Um, that's all for now.